Kate, what's up? Tess had to get this to you. Paper towels? Yep, he said you'll know when you walk in. I don't know. Thank you. Yeah. I know what it looks like, but bear with me. There's a reasonable explanation for this. Ted, we talked about this. You've got to cool it with the murder thing. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Oh, man. You killed Benny. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. <laughs> my parents are flying in tonight, and this place is a bloody mess. Well, this place is going to clean up a lot faster if you help me move this body. Come on, I can really use a hand. <laughs> Alright, I'll go get the bones off from my car, and you get the coat. Get your coat. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm having Sloppy Joe's in my place tonight. Do you three want to come over? Yeah, Sloppy Joe's sounds great, but uh, my parents are coming in tonight, and I don't know what the other guys are doing, so... Uh... Oh, oh yeah, no, no, no. He's uh, he's he's helping. Ben. Benny's feeling really sick right now, so it's uh, it's probably gonna be a long time before you you see him again. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Bye, bye. So what I hear about Sloppy Joe's? tonight to go well. I need my parents to think that I'm a responsible adult. Dude, you need to chillax. I don't know who's with you today, but you need to just believe in yourself more. I mean, I trust you. I think you're responsible. I mean, who else will I count on to get me out of these sticky situations? <laughs> you really mean that? Of course. You just need to believe in yourself more and just go out there and cut the competition. Don't point that at me. Sorry. So, how did you kill him? Who? <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> Benny! Oh, Benny. Funny story. Hey man, have you seen my big time rush CDs? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. See? Told you. Hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Joey, sweetie, it's your mother just calling to let you know that we just landed and no need to pick us up, okay? If your father's friend is giving us a ride, also, your father is exhausted and he wants to take a bubble bath. Just letting you know, call us back. Ah! Ah! What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I think I've got an idea. You know? It ain't half bad. <laughs> Parents are blind, right? <laughs> what now? Hey man, don't freak out. Freaking out? I'm not freaking out. You're the one who should be freaking out, murderer. <laughs> Whoa. No need to use the M word here. Now, you need to take him back into the bathtub. No, we gotta put him in the oven. In the oven? What are you gonna do? Turn him into a crème brûlée? And they call me crazy. Give me a No!
Hey, at least we got him out of the apartment. His car was destroyed by the falling men, but I really don't know what to make of it, you father, and I are just going to get a best wisdom tonight. Are you alright, Ted? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey man, at least we got like more time to clean this place up. Yeah. I'm sorry for one of your nights. No, I'm sorry. See, I learned something today. You were right, I do need to relax and believe in myself more. <laughs> I mean, I spent this whole night worrying about getting my parents' approval, and the only person I needed approval from was me. So thank you for that, Ted. And I'm sorry about almost killing you. Sorry you gotta find a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> 